And this responsible AI and trust AI is very important, which is not only about um, regulation and compliance, more importantly is about this um, business reputations. So one example recently uh, from Google is they have this um, IO conference, I think in the last a few weeks, they released a new feature called AI overview. So the intention is when you do a Google search, this AI will generate an answer at the top of your search result. So you don't need to go through every uh, result page to page. So great idea, but the reality, the content is not, not good. It's not fact based. So their uh, AI overview said um, there's a cat on the moon. And also when people ask some um, question like how many rocks I should eat per day, uh, the AI overview responds that uh, at least one rock per day. Then people joke about that uh, one rock uh, one day keeps doctor away. So you can see this is the very bad impact on Google reputation, especially as a search engine, people expecting to get reliable answers. Um, there will need some AI governance framework in place to manage and uh, to monitor these AI models. So regarding this AI uh, governance framework, here we have an overview. So we start with very simple, just two component, build and deploy. Um, based on model we have seen so far, people can easily build a chatbot and deploy that in a, just a few clicks. And when we add a governance framework on this main two steps, uh, it become more complex. Essentially, there are the three main components. One is uh, AI documentation, where you need to uh, document the model uh, details, use cases. The second part is evaluation and monitoring. You will do the evaluation during the developing and testing and monitor the model performance after you deploy to production. The third part will be this risk governance, where you do a size, assessment, uh, review all your use case and model, make sure it's aligned with the uh, compliance and regulations. If we take uh, this EU uh, AI Act, the first comprehensive AI law uh, from Europe as example, so you can see there's all the details or we call that articles associated for each main component. And plus there is a significant penalty for the offenders up to um, 35 million European dollars. For now, although Australia hasn't have this AI law in place, but we know is uh, the government is actively working on this AI compliance and regulations, and no one want to be the guy to, uh, will do want to be the offenders. So, but to manage this complex process, you will need uh, need uh, some tool to help you simplify that and your team can operate. So that is where the Watson X dot governance come in. Now I will quickly show you how this three main AI governance component looks like uh, in the platform. So now we will, uh, here we're seeing is the governance console is the executive view for um, all your AI use cases and models. And um, we can see here is the, your, um, model details, for example, uh, which model is compliant, which model is not. If we click here, we will get more uh, details for which model is non-compliant. And there are also um, other models, not only the model from IBM, uh, we have the model from Microsoft, AWS, Databricks can all be managed under this platform. Then um, we have another chart I want to share is this metrics bridge status, which means we're monitoring this model in production, make sure they are um, have this uh, acceptable or expected performance. If there is a red flag, that means we need to investigate. For example, this one show there is a, a violation for accuracy. If we uh, check the detail, then we know, okay, for this model, the performance accuracy is uh, 0.79. And what we are expecting is uh, 0.8. So we can quickly go there to investigate, make sure the model behaves. Uh, besides this uh, executive view, we can also go to a specific use case. So for example, we go this model use case, 
Uh, the first one, insurance claim agent assistant. And here we can find all the information regarding this use case. For example, this is uh, all the risk and compliance associated with this use case. And for this uh, compliance, what this is, we can get all this detail as well. Here is a link to the compliance. Here's the details. Then we can see uh, what model is associated with this use case. There are the three models for each of them. We can also check their um, uh, evaluation uh, report during the testing and developing. So that is um, also available in this uh, uh, Wilson Governance uh, platform. I'll give it a second loading. So here is the one testing we did or evaluation we did during the developing uh, phase. So that is a quick view for what's next dot governance. Now, if we look back to our um, AI governance framework, you can see it is um, much simplified. And with all this documentation process, model uh, evaluation or this risk governance, all streamlined and automated within uh, the platform and the team can just do what they do best and uh, build this trust AI and monitor the AI um, to be um, uh, behave as expected. And the better part is um, IBM has expanded this Watson governance to um, AWS. So for example, you have your model built in AWS SageMaker, you can have the same experience to manage your um, AI as well. So that is the benefit for uh, IBM AI offering, which is built on OpenShift, uh, Red Hat OpenShift, which gave us the flexible to have this AI um, hybrid environment.